Hey, it's the preacher, and uh, I've been busy. It's been about a week or maybe 10 days since I put out a video. Anyways, I need to get, get back cracking, and I've been out here in the garden this morning before it gets too terribly hot. I mean, it's melts your face off hot out here in Arkansas right now. It is July the 18th, I think. 19th, yeah. Something like that, 19th, maybe 20th. I don't know. It's, 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 it's a little past mid-July. And I just cut some of the... Uh, this is sacred basil or holy basil. I just got some of it cut. That was one plant. And it just took over. And we, it was crowding out my uh, my purple hole. So I had to get it out of the way. What I want to show you today is ground cherries. Cape gooseberries. Uh, sweet annas. I don't know. There's all kind of crazy names for this stuff. Anyways, uh, I want to show them to you because today I'm going to get rid of them. And I kind of halfway like them, and I kind of kind of halfway don't. They're good. They're different. It's not like a blueberry. I can sit there and eat two handfuls of blueberries, no problem. These, I eat three or four, and I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Okay, let me show you. There are three plants here. Well, let's get over here where we can look at it. You got to back off to see these things. Okay. You can see the leaves here. There's one right there that's green. Have spilled over out of that bed, across this bed, and into the next bed. And they make these little like paper lantern looking things. Which when you tear them open, this one's green. So the, the cherry is green. But when they're ripe, they actually fall off the plant. Now there are three plants there in the middle and they're laid over into the peppers. They were growing into these peppers and you may see where I've bent some back right in here. I want jalapenos. I, I like jalapenos and I didn't want I didn't want those things crawling all in them. So anyways, I don't know if they're through. Uh, they're still green. They're still making. They've just laid down. So let me show you how many there are. Now we've picked these once. Get down here in the shadows underneath it. You see all these laying on the ground? See them all down in there? And it's this way everywhere. When you get underneath the plant, I don't know how well it's showing up, but you can see them laying all on the ground. And when you get them out, see if I can get one open for you. Now when you get one out, here's what they look like. I'll give you, see you in a little bit of sun. That one could be a little oranger, but they turn kind of a yellowy orange. I really, honest to goodness, I do not know how to describe that flavor. It's a little bit tropical. It's a little tart. It's not real, real sweet. It's unique. I mean, I wish I could tell you it tastes like a strawberry or it tastes like a tomato, but it don't. It's just kind of a sweet, tart, tropical flavored fruit. And the bugs do not bother it. I have not seen really anything eating them. Maybe when they first started, but they grow good. They're prolific. Uh, order you a pack of seeds. Hey, two bucks. Okay. Spend you two or three bucks. Get you a pack of seeds. Give them a shot. That was three plants. And they're sprawling across there. It's probably eight foot probably eight foot from over here where they're next to the to the pole beans all the way across to there all the way over to those peppers in the far bed over there so uh try them like i said they're neat looking they grow in these little husk kind of look like a paper lantern like a tomatilla if you've ever bought tomatillas you just peel them and pop them and toss them all right, I, I got in here and got it cut. And uh, I had to pick up that box. Well, I covered the bottom of that box with them. And that was just so I could get down that trail to get over here. But now that I kind of got the, 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 the stalks all cut, and I didn't get them all cut, I just got them cut out of the way where you could see. Look at how many are here. I mean, just look at them. Would you look at that? <laughs> just look at it. <laughs> yeah, some of you get that, some of you won't. I know the sun's bright and it's hard to see them, but, and then here's what they look like clustered. Everywhere a leaf takes off, 
you're gonna get a little you're gonna get a little paper lantern and then it's gonna turn brown and it's gonna fall off when it falls off it's gonna look like that and it's gonna be tear like paper and you're gonna have a little little orange cherry in there now if this was all you harvested is what we have laying here on the ground this would be in my opinion three plants a prolific harvest that that would make more jelly that would make more jam more pies but that's not the first harvest I've been eating these off and on just you know walk around that's pretty good I've been doing that and then we come out here and we picked I don't know I wouldn't say it was this many but we picked about half this many picked them up off the ground we took them in there and cleaned them and froze them and I, these are these are still making green I mean I got a wheelbarrow full I don't know if you can see the wheelbarrow full of of vines over there it's loaded I mean I could have left this here and kept picking them but it's crowding my peppers I'm spitting seeds it's crowding my peppers it's crowding my tomato plant it's reaching over there and crowding the pole beans it's reaching over here and crowding these peppers so it's time to go and I realized oh yeah I had some rosemary planted in there as well so anyways we've got all that we're gonna eat We've got all that we're gonna uh, gonna use, so it's time for them to go. Try them. I think you'll like them. You know, plant them where they got lots of room. You got a bed you're not doing anything with. Maybe a new bed. Maybe somewhere you just a dead spot. Drop those in there and let them take off. And uh, they don't they don't need any support. They will spread out on their own. I planted three. I probably could have planted one and been just fine. But anyways ground cherries sweet annas cape gooseberries whatever you want to call them try them i think you like them see you on the next one